How's it going Tankers, this man and welcome back to some more Star and a reasonably priced tank action and today uh, a few things going on here but it's very special for me. One, the tank, uh, possibly my favourite tank in the game and it was my first tank I ever free barrel marked. Two, it's my buddy Rafe driving it, started his own channel, he's doing pretty well considering how short a time he's been doing and I'm pretty sure you'll agree by the end of this. Um, from the results and what he does, he's got some skills and he is definitely worth heading over there and hitting the subscribe button for my buddy. Yeah! And um, the third thing he's got going for him, the matchmaking. It's one of those games where you get that very, very rare matchmaking. He's the only tier 7 tank on his team. And there's only one tier 7 tank on the enemy's team. Amazing matchmaking. He does have something not going for him though. Um, Dragon Ridge. It's just like the Great Wall. This is probably the easiest map in the game to get screwed by your team at the start. And I'm quite surprised he actually went for this gap himself, really, at the start of the game. It's one of the easiest things on any map to start destroying a team from the very beginning. This gap here from the south spawn. If you get someone from the north spawn, drive, drive straight up to that little bush looking over and uh, get some view range. You've got to have good view range, almost max view range pretty much, or over max view range, to be able to reduce people's camo values. That person, all they have to do is sit in the bush and probably not fire, depending on what tank they're in, to stay stealthy. And all of the tanks that have just lumbering out of spawn, just stop, aim over and start killing all of the tanks that cross this cap. But, remember, well, let's kill number one. Um, he's the only tier 7 tank, so effectively it's a tier 6 again. So, whether the... Ooh, what's going on here? Whether the enemy's team actually know about using that bush, doesn't look like it, seems they all yolo the valley. I despise going down there myself, I won't even go down there in heavy tanks, it's just one of those places where you go to die for me. Um, map tactics on Dragon Ridge, questionable. It all really depends on where uh, your team go when they spawn. Right, so Rafe's got kill number one, he's just hoovering up this Sherman. Unlucky hit the dip there. But what you got to remember the Tiger, although the armour figure for the front plate is actually really good. But then when you look at it in terms of angling, it's really bad. So the Tiger's frontal armour is not great. You can see he's losing, um, well that was a box tank. Did box tank fire high explosive at him there or something else anyway? You can see he's down to just under half health already, but he's going to close to the target on their team. Box tank, you don't want to get hit by that gun. And what was that dude doing? Don't know. Yeah. Questionable. Right, so Rafe's got himself in a good little position now. He's got past that gap, and if you can get spotting things on this corner, it does help your teammates that push out to the west. And as you can see on Rafe's team, nobody has gone west. So pretty much the only person that's going to help him around here is artillery, and I think they actually did there. So he's all on his own. You can see he's in the eastern side of the map, but... He is all, of, all on his own in the west. There is absolutely nobody over there. So if the red team were to uh, think about flanking, um, they would be able to kill Rafe pretty easily in this position. But there's kills to be had. So why not? The gun on the Tiger is glorious. It is amazing. One of the best guns tier for tier. It's better than a lot of the tier 8 German medium tanks. And a lot of them use this gun. And it manages to be better than them. Uh, I don't, don't get the ideas. Well, I did read a post a long time ago about the Tiger. The reason it's got so many hit points is because a lot of people play this game to drive the Tiger. And they get in. The, there's another kill for Ray. How many is he on now? Bloody hell, they're ticking up quick. He's almost at a Radley's. Yeah, what was I saying? The Tiger has so many hit points. Because a lot of people play this game to play the Tiger. And like I just said, the armor's not great. Um, there we go. So, the new player jumps in a tank with armour that's not great, they drive forward and get killed. So the idea was to give it as many hit points as they could to allow new players, when they get their first tier 7, which is normally the Tiger, probably was for me as well. There's his Radleys. Yeah, they give it as many hit points as they can so they can last a bit longer. 
um, to do more damage in the game. But what that means is, when a good player gets in a tiger, you've got a huge hit point pool to use. Right, Black Prince is coming. It was the Black Prince he spotted. He loads his APCR rounds, and I would do exactly the same. The Black Prince is no joke. An angled Black Prince is quite a hard thing to get through. And when you're going to start trading shots, and you're already on low health, and you've just spotted the base camping heavy tank, um, yeah, you're going to lose your hit points. And if I was Rafe here, I would have run away and lived to fight another day. But he's going to try and side scrape this rock. The side armor on the Tiger is actually better than the frontal armor in terms of effectiveness. But he's down to a one shot. Can he get some more damage done? Oh, this angled Black Prince is causing him some right dramas, but he gets a bounce. Manages to go through the side armor. This could be it. Oh, Black Prince misses. Gets another one in, but I think the... Oh, he bounces another one. Come on, come on, come on. You just need a couple more, and he goes down. And those few bounces at the start there cost him his life. But hey-ho, he's got a Radley Walters, so surely... And the team can't screw this up too much. What's left? There's an eye left. And the SU. SU's got some health left. Come on, team. No, there he goes. Just got ammo racked. Right, so I think we all know which way this is going to go now. There's just an artillery left versus a Black Prince and some sort of tank destroyer. Yeah, so there's a tier 7 and a 6 versus a tier 5 I. Right, I'm going to skip this forward. So this ending is actually quite interesting, actually. I wasn't expecting this from the uh, tier 5 artillery. He spots the TD. TD sees him, he's starting to turn. He rushes in, misses his shotgun, but gets the ram damage. Very honourable. Well done. We lost this one, but we'll be back. Me likey. Anyway, so a defeat there for Rafe with a Radley Walters. Decent amount of credits, he did fire some APCR rounds and a few of them didn't pen, so the silver dropped a bit there. But 3k experience, class 1 mastery and a Radley Walters along with a top gun. I think that's a Spartan. But there we go. SV100 on the enemy's team. Tier 6 TD. He manages the Radleys, but um, Rafe's going to give him a GG. Probably wouldn't myself with that amount of damage done. I'd have been quite salty with doing 4,500 damage in a Tiger 1. And um, a Radley Walters and not winning the game with that sort of matchmaking, that would be a really bitter pill to swallow. Anyway, right guys, that was Rafe Calling in the Tiger One, four and a half thousand damage, fellow YouTuber and a friend of mine. Please head over to his channel and hit the subscribe button. He's pushing out some really good content, especially considering how short he's been doing um, YouTube form. Anyway, right, cheers guys, catch you on the next one. See you later.